Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have a super quick Lightroom tip that I think you're really gonna like. So, if you've been using Lightroom for any length of time at all, you've probably come across this problem and that is the problem of clarity halos. So, what do I mean by this? Well, if you've ever used uh, clarity on an image where you have a subject against a sky or a solid color, you probably come across the situation where if you turn the clarity up, like so, let me see, I'm, just, I'm going to exaggerate this now. You see, we've got these horrible halos here and you can see it up here and here and it's really bad. So you have probably seen this um, a million times and when you come across this situation, the only thing you probably really can do to avoid it is basically turn clarity back down or you could go to some elaborate painting of a mask over um, the subject and that's of course going to take away too much time. However, there is now a fairly straightforward solution to this problem of clarity halos and so let me show you what it is. So I'm gonna make a copy of this image. So I'm just going to go create a virtual copy just so we have uh, one to compare to. Okay, so um, one of the areas that also affects this is if you have um, strong shadow and highlights. So I'm going to turn these back down as well and we'll be turning them back up in a second. So I'm just gonna do this. So you can see that's where we started off this image from. And the trick is to use AI masking tools. So I'm gonna go here to the masks and I'm gonna select the sky. Now, you're probably thinking, why not just select the subject? Um, the subject doesn't always select everything in the scene, whereas the sky will select your sky and then all we have to do is just go invert the mask. So now if I hover here, you can see we have this. And if I turn up our clarity, I can turn it right up and bring up our shadows and then maybe down our highlights a bit. And you can see we don't have any halos. So there you go, straight away, that is the problem solved. So uh, if we wanted to take this a bit further and we just want to kind of bring the sky back down rather than doing the overall adjustment, um, which will affect the rest of the image, all you have to do now is go here and go duplicate and invert mask and this will reselect the sky or you could just create a new sky, but it's already picked it so you don't, don't need to do it again. And we can just drop this back down a bit. And there you have it a super quick way to avoid clarity halos. Um, and this works across all sorts of images. So let me just give you one more example. And duh, duh, duh. so we have um, another one of our lighthouse images here. So again, if I do something like so and turn up the clarity, you can see it's awful. <laughs> um, we have this horrible problem here and down here. So again, I'm just gonna reset this. Um, just obviously a disclaimer here. Uh, I'm turning these values up to make it um, so that you can see it on the video. I would not normally use values this strong. So just to make that clear because I know somebody will leave a snarky comment. Okay, so uh, here's one I've done earlier. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Okay, so again, sky and invert mask. And now I can turn up the clarity as much as I want and no halos. Now, this doesn't always work. Um, sometimes if the mask doesn't pick the sky 100%, you might still get um, you might still get slight halos, but uh, for the most part, it works perfectly. So there you have it, a super quick tip to get rid of a super annoying problem with Lightroom, and that is the problem of clarity halos. So I hope you found this useful. If you do, check out my other Lightroom videos, like, share, and subscribe, you know the drill, and we'll see you next time. Bye.